Hello, my name is Jenny Craig, and this video has been made to explain how home learning is organised at Braunton Academy and how to plan, organise and complete your work if your year group or if multiple year groups have been sent home from school. First of all, when you get up in the morning, you need to have your timetable from your planner handy. The day starts at 8.50 prompt with a register and you do that by going into your Google Classroom and into your tutor group. So if you click on your tutor group and within here, within your classwork, there will be a login for your Google Meet. Your tutor will take a register and this gives you an opportunity um, for rec to receive any messages that teachers have been handing out or for you to give some messages or any questions to your tutor that you might have, or if you're finding it difficult to do something or you're struggling to log on, you can have that conversation with your tutor. Once the tutor period is finished, you have to look at your timetable and see what you've got for the day. And what would be good practice, if you know you have got English, Maths, Science, German and French in your five lessons, would be to look in each of those Google Classrooms, which are clearly identified in your, in your Google Classroom setup, and see what is expected for each of the lessons. For example, if we go into English under classwork, period one here, for example, is clearly identified. If I have a quick look on there, I know I'm reading something and then doing a task. Some lessons might be have a live element and it Although you, you can control the timing yourself, if you have a live element to one of your lessons, for example, period two maths, so we go to our maths classroom, it might state that period two, you need to be, um, that the teacher is, is going to live teach the first 10 minutes. So you need to be period two, which starts at five to 10, you need to be on um, the Google Meet at that time. So let's just go back to the classes. So for example, period one, uh, you have your English. So we go to the English, period one, clearly identified as to where that lesson is. Do the work in your exercise book, finish. Look at your timetable. Period two, you might have science. So you go to your science. Again, look in your classroom and find the lesson. It will be clearly identified as to which lesson on which day um, you have. Just remember that for Maths, English and Science, you will have more than one lesson in the week. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Also, some lessons may be signposting you and directing you to another provider. For example, in Maths, period three on Wednesday, it might say that you have my maths, but that will be clearly identified within your Google Classroom and it will say lesson three, go to my maths. Teachers will use class charts under the behaviour column to reward students with merits and also to alert parents of a home learning concern. It's really important, we'd really appreciate it if you could check these daily, that's students and parents. You will also get feedback from your teachers of work submitted in one of many formats. Feedback can be given through class charts, it can be given through Google Classroom, either written or verbal using the moat button so that teachers can record feedback for the students. So these need to be checked regularly. If work is to be submitted, work will be submitted through Google Classroom and it will state quite clearly how to do it within the lesson. So for example, if Mr Halliwell had wanted this work to be submitted in lesson one, once you view the material, it would be clear on this right hand side here, it would say how to submit. What I've asked the students to do if they have a smartphone is to download Google Classrooms on their phone as an app. Because what's easier to do is to take a picture with their mobile phone of their classwork in their book, and then they can slide that picture directly into their classroom on their phone rather than having to email it to themselves. If you have any queries about lessons, 
then students can message their teachers through Broughton Academy email or through their Google Classroom direct to their teacher. If you have any other concerns, please go through your tutor or your head of year.